Hey, what's going on? Let's head over to Clem Hall, see what's going on material testing. Come on. Now that we're here at Clem Hall at Material Testing Lab, let's go on in. Oh, well, thanks, Todd. This is perfect. Um, we're going to go take our measurements right now. Okay, so now that we have our specimen, we're going to want to lay it down on the table, take our micrometer right here. Um, it, we're going to want to take our measurement of the length of our specimen. Right here we have it at 6.017. Remember, everybody's is going to be different. Um, there's not going to be the same results twice, most likely. Um, so input your numbers when you're doing this. We're also going to want to take our pretest punch length, which is the lines that we scribed earlier, so from here to here. Now I find it easier to measure it from the reverse end of a micrometer for this part. Right there, we have it at 2.0355. We're also going to want to take our measurement of the diameter. And right there, we have it at 0.495. So everything is well within spec. Now we're going to go, one of you are going to want to go load this into the machine. The other is going to input the numbers onto the computer just to be more efficient. Now the first thing that we want to do here is load up our test specimen. And we're going to start from the bottom threads right here. We're going to want to move it up and down in order to insert it correctly. Now you can see after we're done loading it, still a little bit loose, so we're going to go back to our switch here, just tap it down a little bit until it's nice and tight like that. Now we're going to take our extensiometer right here and put it onto our test specimen. Now that everything's loaded correctly, we can go right to the computer. Okay, now that we've got our measurements, we're going to run to our computer over here and we're going to want to use this program called Partner down here in the bottom left. Double click on that. Now this is our login screen. Now our professor or GA will be taking care of this with a name and a password. So we're going to input that now. At this screen, we're going to want to go to the partner procedure AL6061 tensile.prc. Double click on that. Now this is where all those measurements that you've used came in. So our length gauge length is going to be 6.017. Our diameter that we've gotten is 0.495 and our pretest punch length um, is going to be 2.035. Now again, these are the numbers that I've gotten. The numbers that you've gotten are going to be different and you're going to want to input those. that you've written down, hopefully, when you've taken those measurements. So don't forget that. That's, that's another very important thing. Just write everything down. Our operator is going to be your initials, so for mine it's going to be B, P, L. The material is going to be AL6061-T6. And our sample is going to be today's date, dash 01 for your specimen, dash 02 for your second test specimen, and dash 03 for the third test specimen that you're going to be having. So let's put those in. Today's date is 02. One zero one zero, and this is our first test specimen, so we're going to put dash zero one. Now we're going to hit check procedures. It's going to say there are no errors. It's ready to run to the test. Test specimen is loaded correctly. That the extensometer is on there the right way. Lever in neutral. Hit pump start. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our load rate control gauge. And we're going to want to play with it until our load rate begins to move. The load rate is right here. We're going to want to get it this number to about 1800. 
Now, sometimes it shoots up, sometimes it doesn't seem to be moving at all. So just play with it, get a good feel for it. Please remove the All right there, we're just going to remove it, very simple. Put it next to the computer, hit OK. Now after it breaks, you're going to want to hit stop pump. The red button right here, and we're going to go want to take our measurements. All right, well now that we've uh, conducted the test, we're going to go want to take another measurement. And you know that useless partner that didn't do anything the entire time? Well, this is where he comes in. He's got to hold it like that so you can measure it on the lines you described before. And right there we have it at 2.61. Now we're going to get another measurement right here of where it cracked. And right there we got 0.3. Now that we have our measurements, we're going to go put them into the computer. So our after test diameter, that was 0.37. Our post test punch length, that is 2.61. Now we're going to hit close and we're going to print everything off right here.